students how is everyone today i am sure you all must be doing great so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is food now we all know how important the food is for us no one can survive without food whether it is a human beings or whether it is animals we all need food to survive why because food gives us energy you don't eat food for 2 days you feel as if you have no energy no energy to play no energy to run or do any other work so food is very very important for all of us now it is very important that the food that we take in is highly nutritional and we also know that in different parts of the country there is different kind of food that is available people cook different type of food and what they are using to make the food are the ingredients that is the different materials which are used to prepare this food now mama keeps telling you don't eat junk food the reason is that the food that you eat should be a balanced food it should be a balanced meal and when you are taking all the three meals balanced in a day finally at the end of the day what you have is a balanced diet now when i am talking about nutritious food i mean that it should be rich in proteins it should have carbohydrates it should have fats oils vitamins and minerals we also know that if our food is lacking in any of this then it is not a complete food it is not a balanced diet and it is not nutritional so we need to have everything as per what is required in our diet only then we will have the energy to do all kinds of work we will be able to grow and we will be able to do different activities now anything that we eat it means we say that that particular material is edible whatever can be eaten is edible now depending upon the different sources we can say that we are getting food from plants also and we are getting food from animals also and plants like every day we are eating vegetables we are eating the cereals we are eating the pulses we are also eating fruits from where are we getting all this we all know that we are getting all these from the plants now you will say that we get food from animals also yes in the form of milk from the cows we also get eggs from hens and we also eat the meat you know we eat fish we eat chicken these all are the meat sources which we are getting from the different animals now we will be discussing mainly about the parts of the plant so that we get a clear picture that what parts of plant give us the food so we see this diagram now now this is a diagram showing different parts of the plant and here what we can see is that there is mainly the root system and then there is the shoot system if we go by the root system there is a main root which is also known as a primary root or the tap root and there are smaller roots which are known as the secondary roots and these collectively form the root system now coming to the next is the shoot system in which there is a main stem and this stem is the one which is supporting all the parts of the plant which are the aerial parts which are above the soil they are borne by this main stem and another thing is that it is bearing the different parts like the flower fruit the leaf and the bud it is from this bud that the flowers will arise now there is another bud from which the leaves arise so this bud is known as the axillary bud and this point is known as a node now this is another node so the distance between the two nodes is known as the internode so now what we need to understand is basically that when we are talking about the food we also eat fruit of certain plants we eat the stem in case of other plants such as the sugar cane and all and then we also eat leaf in case of the other plants like the spinach the mint or the coriander leaves all these are taken in as a food and the green leafy vegetables as we all know are very rich sources of vitamins and minerals so these are the different parts of the plant out of which basically we eat the fruit sometimes the stem and even sometimes the leaf of the various plants so this is what we need to remember that these are the plant products on which either the herbivores or the carnivores are depending directly or indirectly 
Now from this diagram it is clear that there are different parts of the plant. There are leaves, there is a stem, there are roots and there are also flowers which finally give the fruit. So we are consuming these different parts of the plant whether it is leaf, they also are used as food sometimes, the fruits we all eat and sometimes the roots are also modified to give us food like carrots and all, so turnip. So these are generally the roots. Now very important to remember is that depending upon how the animals are getting their food, we are dividing them into different types. The first is the herbivores. These are those animals which are depending directly on plant. They eat the grasses, they eat the leaves of the plants. So they are the herbivores. And the examples can be goat, it can be cow. So all these animals are depending upon the plant for their food. But there are other animals which are depending upon these herbivores for food. Now we all know there is a lion, there is tiger, all these are carnivores. And their canine teeth are very very sharp so that they can tear these herbivores and eat them. So they are the carnivores. But there are certain other organisms, there are certain animals which are eating both plants and animals. Now we human beings are also eating both plants and animals. We are eating meat also, we are eating egg also which we are getting from the animals. At the same time we are also eating plants, we are taking their parts like fruits, leaves etc for food. So we are getting our nourishment or we are getting our food both from the plants and from the animals and we are the only wars. So this is basically what we need to remember when we are talking about the food that there are different organisms wherein the plants they are forming the producers so they are the ones which are giving food to all and then all the other organisms are the consumers which are depending upon them directly or indirectly the herbivores because they are the first ones to depend upon these plants and they are depending on them directly they are known as the primary consumers then there are the carnivores which are depending upon the herbivores or we can say that they are indirectly depending upon the plants for their food and they are known as the secondary consumers. And however, they are the bacteria and all which are the de decomposers and they are decomposing these plants and animals and getting their nutrition or food from them. So this is all for today children and I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much children.